In this video, I will talk about stacked bar charts. They are easy to understand and display an extra level of detail that a simple bar chart cannot. For our data set, we will consider one of Britain's longest running TV game show, University Challenge. In this show, two teams of four students from Britain's top universities compete against each other. Our data set focuses on an interesting aspect of the data. The program is strikingly male. So here's the bar chart we're going to build. So the data for this bar chart comes from The Economist. And as you can see, it's a horizontal stacked bar chart. And it shows the composition of teams between the years 2014 and 18. So we have five team compositions. So we have all men and all women at extreme ends. And then we have teams of one woman and three men, two women and two men, and three women and one man. So as you can see, this is a pretty biased composition. And also each bar is broken up uh, across the universities. So we have uh, the big names such as Cambridge, Oxford, Russell Group, which represents 22 public research universities and a group of others. Now I have pulled this data into an Excel file having four columns. So we have university, appearances, composition, where I have used values 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and composition detail. So now we're going to take this information into Tableau and try to build an identical stacked bar chart. Right, so let's uh, connect to Tableau, connect to our Excel worksheet. And here's our data. So now let's open a new Tableau worksheet and select bar out here. And the first thing we will do is drag appearances onto the column section and drag the composition details onto the a row section and then sort our information in descending order. And let's view our data in entire view mode. Now going back, I also want the totals to be displayed at the top of the bars. So we will drag and drop the appearance onto the text section like so. And to create a stacked bar chart, I will drag and drop university onto color. Now there are a few things I could do here. Firstly, I want to change the order in which the universities are displayed. So I'm going to do it manually and change the order like displayed in the image we saw earlier. And also I feel that the colors are too gaudy. So I will try to use colors that represent the colors of the university as far as possible. So what we'll do is we'll go to the color section out here and select a palette. I'm going to use the colorblind palette and select slightly less glaring colors. Now let's go back and see what happens if we drag and drop appearances once again on the stacked bar chart. And this time you see that we do not get the figure uh, at the top of the chart, but rather inside the chart. So we need to fix this. So one way of doing this is by creating a reference line. So I'll go to analytics and drag a reference line out here. So there are three options, an entire table, a pane and per cell. And let's see how this uh, manifests. So as you can see, what we want is per cell, uh, but there are a few changes to be made. So let's go back here. And what we will select is the total uh, value and also uh, in this label part, we will have the value displayed. So as you can see, the value is being displayed at the bottom and there's also a line. So let's remove that line and the line goes. But again, we, uh, we need to format things a bit. So let's go to the format section and uh, this section here alignment. So there's a horizontal and vertical alignment. So we'll play with that a bit. So I think we need to fix the vertical alignment and put it in the center. And that works. And let's, we could also play a bit with the horizontal alignment. And I think I'm okay out here. So 
So this is how our uh, final stacked bar chart looks. And now let's go and look at it in presentation mode. And also let's compare it with our original chart. Okay, so we are pretty much uh, there. So uh, uh, we could obviously add the uh, university information within uh, the bar. Uh, and there are a few more changes we can make, but we are good for now. So I hope this video helped, guys. Uh, please don't forget to leave a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Subscribe and perhaps like the video too. Thanks a lot.